Hi, I'm Dan here from Flexible, and today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of lead connector versus Twilio if you're using high level. Let's dive in. We're a huge fan of high level. We love what it does. We use it a lot inside um, my business. For us at the moment, what that looks like is putting a lot of traffic via a Facebook lead form into high level. We have a binary question where we ask the user to respond pretty much with a yes or a no via SMS that kicks off our artificial intelligence um, sales Android, we call it, which chats to people, qualifies them out, and then books them into a sale or appointment or whatever we want, really. It's, it's very cool. The minor side to that, I guess, and what we're doing is that we've got, I think we've done something like 15,000 leads in the last nine weeks. And there's a ton of like messages going, you know, I think 50% of people engage in the conversation with us. So we've got lots of conversations going every single day, which means that we're paying for every single SMS that goes out. They're kind of tiny costs, right? But they do add up over time, especially if you're relying just on a front end offer, which luckily we're not, we have kind of upsells and things like that. And if you're not doing that inside your business then you should really think about it because there's plenty of things you can sell clients and I'm not gonna get into that today. But you know, we have been using Twilio for a very long time and we've recently migrated over to Lead Connector. Today I wanted to talk to you about the pros and cons of each and I'm also going to show you if you are thinking about migrating. Um, I'm going to get my account manager Graham to discuss how to do that and give you the migration process and what it looked like for us. Let's dive in. I'm going to pass over to Graham, my account manager. He's going to th walk you through the pros and cons. He's the one that looked after this for me. He's a guru when it comes to this type of stuff. Please listen to him. You're going to enjoy it. I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, uh, cheers Dan. So yeah, this is just basically a quick video just to explain the differences between the lead connector phone system and the Twilio phone system. So last year, High Level has integrated with Twilio. And that is the kind of like the, the one phone system you could use quite easily with a native integration inside the High Level. That's one we've been using and it's worked really well. But as of I think November 2022, Lead Connect have created their own phone system that does the exact same thing Twilio does. And we're getting a lot of questions in our community of like, which one's better, which, which should they use, which are we using? So just for a little bit of transparency, we're going to show you exactly what we're doing. So we've been using Twilio pretty much until about maybe two weeks ago. Um, it, it was working brilliantly, work, working fine. Um, but then we've had a few issues going forward with getting our number registered with the A2P. Twilio have been very, very slow with uh, with doing that. I think they're about three months uh, waiting list for that now, which obviously is not good if you're messaging people in the States. So we've started to migrate over to Lead Connector. A couple of reasons for this. I think both work very similarly. They're both very good at what they do. The things, the one things that we think are, are better though is with Lead Connector, if you use their phone system, you can message into their support and you can get support with the phone system as well. A couple of times we've had issues with, you know, Twilio or high level. Um, you know, Twilio would say, oh, that's that's high level or and high, high level will say that's Twilio. Uh, and it was a bit more difficult to get it kind of troubleshooted because they're different systems and, you know, they don't have any visibility of each other's system, really. Whereas if you got it all in under one roof with Le with the Lead Connector phone system, they have the team that can troubleshoot for you and uh, you basically get better support. Um, secondly, Lead Connector is slightly cheaper uh, in the US and Canada. Uh, exactly the same prices everywhere else in the world, basically. But Canada and US, it's slightly cheaper. I think it's a couple of points of, of, a, of a cent less which can be significant if you're sending high volume of, of SMSs. I think it's pretty similar to Twilio across the rest of it, uh, the pricing. We only really use the SMS feature in Twilio anyway, and it, it is that slight, slightly cheaper. Um, but I would say the main reason that you'd want to move to Lead Connector is really just to have it all under one roof, uh, and if you, if you have an issue, it can be quite easily solved without back and forth between two different so softwares, basically. Now, just to show you how to migrate, um, you want to go to settings and you, and you want to you go to phone integration. Now, on your agency settings, uh, there would be something that says switch now. And basically what this does is any new sub account you create, it will use the lead connector phone system, but it will not affect your other ad accounts or sub account, sub accounts, sorry, uh, that are all already live. If you want to go and amend a sub account 
that has got Twilio and you want to change it to the lead connector phone system, you want to do this first, then you want to go over to sub account settings. And then you'll want to go uh, and change and change it. So we changed over one, which one was it? So we changed it over um, this one here, which is for our flexible at the moment. Everyone, everything else is running on Twilio still. Uh, this, this is the one we were really wanting to change over. And as you can see from these other ones, all you have to do if you've got one on Twilio is you just want to press um, switch to the LC phone and it'll come up with something here. Uh, and it will show you basically what you're doing. So all phone numbers, calls, da 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 da, will be moved to your new account. Uh, it will take about two days, 48 hours for this system to migrate. It will work normally before that. Um, so there's no worry about getting any issues with the SMSs going out during this process. And you can keep the number. You can keep the exact same number, which is a really good little tool. Because obviously that was one thing I was worried about, losing our current number. But yeah, you can keep that number. Uh, and then once you've done read all this and made sure it's okay, you just press I acknowledge and you just press confirm. Um, and then you just want to go and then it will say something like migration in progress, two to three days to change. So yeah, that's uh, as simple as it is. Uh, I would recommend using uh, Lead Connector purely for the main reason that it's all, you, you, you just get support all under one house, all, all under one roof, basically. Um, no issue with Twilio. I actually really like Twilio. Um, but if you're using high level, uh, I think it's a no brainer really to use the lead connector phone system. Um, and then they can help you, uh, from there. Um, but yeah, hopefully that answers your questions, guys. If you have any questions at all, uh, then please pop, pop a comment below and we can get back to you. Um, and yeah, cheers guys. Bye. -bye. All right. I hope you really enjoyed Graham's explanation of the pros and cons of lead connector versus Twilio. And I hope you got some value out of watching him show you how to migrate everything over. For us, it was a bit of a no-brainer. We like to keep everything in-house and it was more, I think it was kind of support issues. Twilio, you know, support saying it's high-level support's fault and vice versa, you know, it just wasn't worth it. So we moved everything over and we're much happier with what that's looking like now. And I think we're even saving a bit of money. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. I mentioned early on the video, we've got what we call our sales Android which um, uses ChatGPT to be able to converse and, and qualify and close leads itself. It actually closes itself for us, which is a hard concept to wrap your head around. If you want to have a play with it and see what that looks like, there'll be a link below this video and you can converse with artificial intelligence and, and see if you can break it. It's totally up to you. There'll be a link in the description box below. But also if you've liked this video and you want us to do more high level stuff, then please do let us know and uh, we'll make some more high level type videos, please subscribe to our channel. That would be much appreciated. And lastly, if you have any comments or questions that we can pass over to Graham, then please comment below and I'll do that uh, and we'll get back to you. So have a good day and I'll speak to you soon.